Hey everybody, it's Scooter from Plastic Picks. Today I'm in the local national park where we do a lot of uh, bushwalks with the dogs and the kids, etc. like that. But it also is an awesome place to do toy photography. If you have a look around, you'll see that the foliage is amazing. Like it's really, really cool for things like Predator. I did one the other day with Predator down in here. Today I'm going to do uh, Star Wars figures. I'm going to do Scout Trooper, like he's out on patrol, and use a bit of green and a bit of water and some like atmosphere aerosol, and we'll try and bring it out like he's actually on patrol. Um, you'll see around here there's lots and lots of different foliages, large green leaves, small, you've got dead leaves, trees, bark, lots of different things you can use. So let's see what we get. So today's shot is quite easy actually. We're using a little stream we've got here at my feet, which you'll see in a minute, and that'll give it the flow of like it's a large river compared to the scale of the action figure, which is six inch. Um, I'm using an old style digital camera. It's a Canon 400D. It's like the first one that ever came out. I'm so used to using it, I can use all the dials in the dark, so it's just habit. I have a 50 mil focused set lens. It goes down to 1.8 so we can really blur that background out and make it really stand out when I actually take the picture. Um, I'm using um, atmosphere aerosol which is fantastic. It produces like a fog mist that you can add in and give lots of atmosphere into your photography. Obviously that's why it's called atmosphere. The other thing I've got is a couple of LED lights. They're just straight from the local store. We have a store here called Bunnings. They sell them, they're workshop lights. They're really, really bright. Um, I'll flip one on and show you. They're enough just to illuminate what you need. Um, and that's it, that's the setup, nothing else. No firecrackers, no sparklers, nothing, that's it. We're just gonna try and create photos with no cost, except for your camera, basically. Pretty easy setups, pretty easy shots. And at the end, let's see what we get. I'm pretty sure I can get some pretty cool photos out of this. All right, let's have a crack at it. Okay, guys, so I've actually just finished down in the creek bed where I was. I'm sick of getting eaten by mosquitoes, so I've moved to another location. While I was down there, I took some photos of him both standing up and sitting down. And now I'm up here, and I'm going to just do photos of him actually sitting. This time around, I'm aiming at having the scout trooper like he's just sitting there, surveying out into the distance, trying to see if anybody's coming, he should be keeping his eye on. Nothing's changed, no special effects this time. I don't even know if I'll use a light, I think I'll just use the natural light and have a really, really big aperture of 1.8 and just blur the background out so you can't really see what's in the background there, except for a bit of green foliage and a branch of course. All right, let's see what photos I get this time. Okay, I've finished up in the scrub there doing the photos I was doing with the scout troopers. I've now moved down and set up my last setup for the day. I'm actually gonna use a bit of Photoshop magic in this one. I'm gonna combine two photos together. Um, the setup I have here is Beast and Wolverine are having a disagreement. Uh, Wolverine's just jabbed him, poor old Beast in the chest there. And the reason he hasn't got his blades on is I'm gonna take this photo the way it is. Then I'll put the blades back in and I'll take the next photo. When I get home, I'll stack the two together and you'll see that it looks like Wolverine's actually stabbing Beast in the chest. And I might just put a little bit of blood in there for effect. So there you go guys, there's my quick little video on shooting some action figures, just using basic scenery and the things around the local parks and reservoirs like we're at here. Plenty of things you can use. Um, I did Wolverine, Beast and Scout Trooper today. I'll show you the photos at the end. I'm only going to process the Scout Trooper um, in Photoshop and I'm only going to adjust the levels, the contrast, the brightness and the saturation and that will be it and cropping, nothing else. Any, nothing you can't do on your mobile phone. 
As far as Wolverine and Beast go, the one of them fighting, I'm actually going to try and layer two photos together so it looks like the Wolverine's claws are actually going into Beast's chest when they're really fighting and the other adjustments as per the first photo is all I'm going to do. And I'll show you the photos at the end. Don't forget to check them out. I will post every photo I do on my Instagram account, which is at Scoots Plastic Picks. I'll just put it up there. And um, I'd really like to say thank you to Jared Milton, Sir Dork 730 He really inspired me to get back into doing this. I used to do it a long time ago, back on the days when you actually put film in a camera and had to get it developed. I'm a bit old. Um, he's really inspired me to get back in and do this. So while we've got a bit of school holidays, that's what I'm doing. So check out his Instagram account and his YouTube account. He's got heaps of ideas for you. And um, thanks so much for watching.